Hey guys, I'm Wolves Crook and I'm a senior at CPA. So today we're going to be going over the parable of the Good Samaritan and then also go over one question regarding it. So in this story, there's a lawyer who sought to test Jesus and he was asking, how do you gain eternal life? And Jesus responds, have you not read the law? And one segment of the law that this lawyer recites is that you must love your neighbor as yourself. But then he proceeds to ask Jesus, who is this neighbor that I must love as myself? And so Jesus goes into a parable and it talks about a man who was heading to Jericho. And then he encountered some robbers who proceeded to beat him up and strip him. And so this man was stranded on the road by himself. And a priest walks by and notices the man. And you would think to yourself that surely a priest would help this man, but no, he proceeds to walk by and pays him no attention. And then after that, a Levite walks by and does the same as the priest. He's apathetic to the man that's stuck on the road. So then third, another person walks by and this was a Samaritan. And normally Samaritans do not like Jews at all. This man on the side of the road was a Jew and they're in the two with each other. But this Samaritan on the other hand decided to help this man stuck on the road and he cared for him and he cleansed him of his wound and he gave him shelter. And then Jesus says, this is how you must add to your neighbor. And so we see the question today is, how does this parable connect to Jesus's ministry? And we see this in a couple ways, but Jesus is always telling us to love our neighbors ourselves, and also to love our enemies, even though that can be extremely difficult. But two ways Jesus goes to show this is when he's captured by the people who Judas has betrayed him to. And then Peter cuts off the ear of the priest who was helping to capture Jesus. And instead of letting this go, Jesus decides to save this man and heal him. This guy's his enemy and he's seeking to serve him, which is interesting. And then the second instance that we see this is when Jesus is being crucified on the cross and he's being mocked and ridiculed by these people who are crucifying him. And he says to them, or he says to God, actually, uh, forgive these people for they know not what they do. And so in this instance, Jesus is also forgiving people who are his enemies and he's trying to serve them. And so this shows us how this parable is connected to Jesus's ministry and how he applies it. So I would ask that you all get involved and you try to serve an enemy that's in your life right now who might need it. Thank you, and I love you all.